Few hours to kill so we just want to go fishing really quick. I caught a crappie yesterday for the first time in my life so I didn't even realize there were any out here on the little East Fork Little Miami River so um, every time we go out there it's pretty cool because you catch so many different types of fish so it's really really neat to be able to you know fish for a couple hours and probably catch five or six species of fish so should be pretty fun and uh, enjoy the footage. Pumpkin seed hybrid bluegill, it looks like. Tiny little small mouth. I'm just fishing. There's a rock out here. Just fishing on that. Yeah. Little boy. Anyway, on the side of this rock here, it's kind of one of the bigger rocks. It's got some uh, kind of wider areas beneath it and stuff where fish would like to be. Hopefully we start catching something a little bigger. There is bigger. Still not big, but bigger. It's good enough. Little tiny, small mouth. Have you not caught one yet? <laughs> I know. It's not your pole. Come up here. I think it is. I need a shorter pole. No. Come up here. We'll fish up here. Don't look at the camera. Don't. Oh, you ruined everything. I didn't even hardly, it, like it didn't pull at all. I just felt like I had a leaf. Like it did, it's weird. There you go. Another crappie, a black crappie, I think. I got it on camera. How'd you do today? Um, well, I didn't do well at first because you took the good fishing pole and I had <laughs> the really bad one. But it's as soon as I got pole. the ugly stick, it was on. I threw it in and I caught my first crappie. How many fish you catch? I caught one, but oh, I would have okay. caught like 10 if I didn't have your pole. <laughs> How many fish did you catch? Um, three or four. Being a good boy, you're so good. Wow, so you get on it. Nope. nope. Yep. It's your dog. That's your dog. My dog's this one. My dog's Scout. Your 
dog flip. Come on, Instagram. Sit. Come on, Instagram. Okay, that's it. We caught some fish, it was fun. Pretty relaxing before we go to dinner and hang out. Date. No, it's not a date. It's date night. It's not a date. It is a date. It's not. Fine, just dinner. Be a jerk. See you guys next time, all 14 of you. When do you? Are you ready for your bath? Oh, oh nice. Ah. What is she doing? Giving you a massage? Scout, you ready for your bath? <laughs> you ready for your bath, Scout? Come on, doggies. We go fishing for a few minutes. There's only you know, a few minutes left of sunlight or whatever, so. Just gonna go out and catch a few fish while I'm waiting for Nicole to get home from work. And uh, yeah, see what we can catch. Probably nothing big, but it's always fun fishing out of the river. You just never know. definitely fish out here. I'm gonna walk out on this log, which is like the most dangerous thing you can do. Oh. Usually I can just dangle this line right here and catch a, a rock bass or, oh, there's fish down there. There, something already bit at it. All right, just kind of dangling this this bait down below this grass caught a little pumpkin seed sunfish. They're pretty little fish. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. A little balancing act here. There you go, buddy. I'm just using this little cheap jig. Comes in a pack of like 12 or something for like a dollar or a few dollars. I don't even know. Obviously you can tell it's been worn out, so I've been catching a lot of fish on it. It's been working really well. I think the further I can cast over close to that grass, the algae and the moss, all that, the better chance I have of catching a fish. You just can't get it in there because it just gets all over your bait and then the fish don't even think about it. All right, got something, it was a very light, bite and it's a crappie I think it's a crappie these are the lightest biting fish I mean every time I catch one I don't even hardly notice I have one on the line they just do not they do not bite very hard so and I always seem to barely just have them hooked I mean I'll probably be able to get this off without even touching it yep all right we'll come up on this little beach area and it just gets a little too deep out here I don't feel like walking in water up to my waste. I'm sure this is someone's land, but I never care if someone's on my land, so hopefully they don't care if I'm on theirs. Looks like there's a little landing area down here. Let's see what's down here. All right. Call a little bluegill. hybrid bluegill it's got kind of that turquoise pattern on it like you normally see with those sunfish so a lot of hybrid like bluegill here 
and just so you guys know, I could be completely wrong. I only, I only half know what I'm talking about, and probably not even half. I have a lot of energy. There you go. Take it. Take it. Another little bluegill, really small one. Looks like a, I'm not a car person, but it looks like a frame or something to a car. Something met its demise down here. All right. Another little, it's a little small mouth. Baby, little baby small mouth. Very aggressive out there. Learn well from your mom and dad. Wow, that thing jumped out of the water and it, that hit as soon as it hit the water is like it was waiting on it. Another little tiny small mouth. That was crazy. Oh, got off. All right, I touched it though, it counts, all right? I touched you. Counts. All right. I don't know if you guys can see this cover, but this is perfect. There is. If I don't catch anything here, I'm terrible. Which that's not really in debate anyway. Oh, there's a road right here. I had no idea. It's like a little makeshift dam. I mean, someone just straight up made this. I see some sauger in there. And I have not had any luck with those lately. Come on, fishies. So I'm having no luck in this area up here where this little man-made dam is. It's like a, a tree with some pylons or some I-beams. It's just interesting. I don't know who did it, but what's funny is like this creek literally goes down to like two feet wide here. It's crazy. And like when this is flowing, it flows so hard. I mean, it's like 12 feet deep and you know, 100 yards wide, it's crazy and all of a sudden it's like nothing. So this is just really interesting, really cool. So I'm gonna keep fishing. I'm gonna try uh, try fishing um, on the front side of the dam and see if I can catch anything here. Nothing, nothing Luke, nothing Scout. It's getting dark, so I really, really need to start heading back, but Curiosity just has the best of me. I just want to see where this goes. Where do you go? And Nicole, I'm sorry I didn't answer the phone. I'm having fun right now. She called me about five minutes ago. When you see this video, you'll see my apology. Not until then. Looks like perfect spot to catch some crappie or smallmouth. Scout, out of the water. Dogs don't alert all the fish to my presence. And if I don't get snagged. Oh, and I'm snagged. And that sucker's not coming off. Shoot. Only chance I have is knocking that off of a rock. I shouldn't say my dogs. Luke, the dumb one, loves going after rocks. If I can hit that branch. Ah. Oh. I'm so short on line. I don't have a choice. I'm going to have to break it. All right, guys, I'm going to start heading back, and I'm going to fish on the way back. But I decided, since I lost my bait uh, on a snag, I'm going to throw this little fluorescent green worm on here and see how well it does caught a lot of bluegill on here so I don't know we'll see and it's getting dark so this color might help catch some more fish All right, guys earlier I said I was gonna fish this spot on my way back so I'm gonna try it out now and see if there's anything biting out there even though it's getting pretty late I'm not really fishing for fish that normally hunt at night so Got something. Woo! 
What are you? What is this? That is a pretty good smallmouth. It's got like red fins. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Well, that was a good catch. First cast with this worm, I think. And it really took it. Pretty good looking fish. Got some red fins on it. I don't know what that's all about. I don't know if that, I don't know what that means, but good fish for this small creek out here. Put you back in the muck. Wrong way. There you go. See if there's anything else that size out here. There's something biting at it, and I got it. Little pumpkin seed, sunfish, little guy. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I love these fish, they're so gorgeous. Oh. Out. Man, it's getting dark and I'm just having, starting to have fun. Oh, no, that was good. Oh, that was close. That was stuck on the dog there. That was something good. I think that was another small mouth. It really took that quickly. Come on, line, don't mess up on me now. Oh, man. Oh, this is not good. Guys, I am on my way back. Uh, I was on a roll there, catching fish, fish after fish and getting bites after bite. And then I don't even know. I've never seen anything like what happened to just happened to my reel. But it's like I had three strings of line coming out. I don't know. I didn't put the line on this pole, so. I don't know if it was the way it was done, and if so, it's my dad's fault. If not, well, I don't know what I did. I must have messed it up. I don't, but I mean, I don't know. <laughs> so, anyway, I had fun. I don't even know how many fish I caught. Probably five or six, hopefully. So, good time. Caught a crappie. Really nice smallmouth. Red fins. It's really weird. So, explored some new territory. Great fishing spots up here. I cannot wait to come back. And trust me, I will soon, probably tomorrow. So, really awesome. Hope you guys have a great night, or a great morning, or a great day, whatever. See you next time. Remember, fish are greater than me, because I suck. <laughs>